I made a YouTube video using chat GPT and I want to show you guys how I did that and kind of my process and take you through that and uh, maybe have a little discussion about chat GPT after. Okay. Hey, what's up everybody? Yeah. Today I want to talk about um, chat GPT and I want to talk about the fact that I made a full YouTube video. I actually kind of made two YouTube videos. I wanted to try this out. Um, if you're not aware of what chat GPT is. It's kind of this AI based chatting program. It's kind of like imagine like a, a person on the other side of this chat box and it's just AI. And you can essentially have, you know, conversational um, chats with it. So if you've never seen it, it, you can basically type in anything you want and it'll spit out the answers for you. So I had a thought and my thought was, you know, could I make a YouTube video based on just using chat GPT? Right? Let me make myself a little bit bigger here. A little more authority, if you will. Um, <laughs> so, you know what? Let's just, let's take a look at the video first. Okay, this is the video that I made. And I, and I want to say that the script, the content, the content, the script, um, the idea, all of that came from Chad GPT. Okay, and then there's a little bit of, I, I barely put any of my own touches in. The, um, the music... I I obviously recorded the voice. I did the uh, I just put in some stock music and then some stock footage. That's it. That's all I did. Extra. Everything else was Chat GPT, like the script and everything. So I mean, why don't we just watch this for two seconds? Ten space missions of all time. What's well, kind of from the earliest days of space exploration to the most kind of recent missions, through. we'll be taking a look at the most incredible and groundbreaking achievements in the history. Right. So this is all Chat GPT so far. So sit and then back, this is just relax, me putting and get it through. ready to blast off on a journey through the greatest moments in space history. Anyways, uh, without going through, I mean, you can actually see, I, I got the link in uh, the description of this video. I have the link for this video if you actually want to check out the whole thing. It doesn't, I mean, we'll talk, we'll talk about the whole situation first before, before I review this video myself. Okay, so you're probably wondering if you're watching this video, like, how do you make uh, your own chat GPT how did how did I do this? Okay. And I actually have it right here. I actually have the full thing right here. But I, I, I want to kind of walk it through our, ourself. So this is what I did. So the first thing I did it was I, I came up with kind of an idea of, you know, tell, tell chat GPT who I am, what I'm doing, what my kind of style is. And then I got it to wrote or sorry, I got it to write me a list of the top 10 ideas that I can use for this. So let, let, I'm just going to do it again. And it might be different this time. It might, it might spit out the exact same answers, but let's, I'll walk you guys through this. Okay. So the first thing I did was, yeah, I mean, you guys, you guys watch my channel, right? You're, you know that I like space. I like adventure games. I, I like gaming. I like space. That's essentially my two things that I like. I like a lot of other stuff too, but that's kind of what I focus my channel on. Um, so, so, you know, let's start with, maybe I'll bring this a little bit here. Hopefully, uh, okay. Let's start with, answering that right so you know i'm a i'm a gaming and space youtube video creator okay um now this is now i want to generate ideas i want to see a list of ideas first before i before i pick and choose what video idea i want this is what i did so i'm a gaming and space video creator um what kind of all right sorry uh, write me a list of 10 space, let's just say 10 space, um, themed YouTube video ideas, write me a list of 10 that, and then this is where, this is where, I don't know if this actually does anything, but I just, I mean, imagine you're literally talking to like an agency or a person or whatever, right? That's how, that's how I'm treating this. That will gain, that will you know, have the chance to go viral, let's just say. This is just for fun, guys. My video has 24 views. But the video that I produced from ChatGPT has 24 views. <laughs> I don't know if that go viral thing had anything to do with it. Okay, so I'm a gaming space YouTube video creator. Write me a list of 10 space-themed YouTube video ideas that will have the chance to go viral. Let's do that, okay? What, is, what does the Lord ChatGPT say? And, I, and after this video, I want to talk about ChatGPT in general, okay? Let's see if it, if it actually brings up the one um, that I did. Oh, man. These are, these are even better than before. What? So let's go over them, okay? 
<clears throat> a tour of the International Space Station narrated by an astronaut who lived and worked there. Okay, I mean, that's a little unobtainable, but okay. I like the idea. A history of space exploration from the early rockets to the present day. Not bad. A review and comparison of different space-themed video games. See, I like that one. Simulation of a mission to Mars showing what it would be like for humans to live and work on the right planet. Analysis of feasibility of building a base on the moon, including the challenges... Uh, Countdown of the top 10. Yeah, see, this is what this is the one I got, guys. This is it right here. I knew it. It's interesting that um, ChatGPT is current. I wonder how often it updates, right? Like, when, when will I type this in and it will not give me this answer? So this is what I choose. Exactly this, right? You can see all these different ideas. Countdown of the top 10 greatest moments in space. Look at this. The top 10 greatest space missions. Um... Yeah, so so I mean, there's actually good ideas in here. That's that's not to say ChatGP is terrible. This this whole thing is not about that at all. But these these are great ideas, right? Like so, you know, ChatGPT. I find if you're a video creator, it can do the <clears throat> the most bare bones work. I mean, let's get into that later. Let's uh, I'll review ChatGPT's video creation skills a little bit later. So, what's next? So say we like number six, okay? I like number six, uh, which is a countdown of the top 10 greatest moments in space history. So I like number six. So what am I going to do? So, okay. Um, let's use number six. Uh, write me that list. Use full paragraphs. Look at this. Um, include, include why these missions were so important. Okay. Um, uh, and then let's just, just let's just for fun. I'm going to change it up a bit. Let's just for fun. Let's say let's end the mission end the paragraph with um, like I want to say like the future of the mission, like end the paragraph with how do we say that? End the paragraph with. Uh, no, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Let's just let's just do this. Okay, let's use number six. Write me that list. Um, use full paragraphs. Include why these missions were so important. Okay, let's do that. So. So okay, so sure. Here's a list of the top ten greatest moments in space history, with a brief explanation of why each one was so significant. All right. Now let's see if it, this does actually um, some different different results than before. Okay, right now I can see number two is different than I did. Uh, the first man's place flight by Yuri uh, Gagarin. No, I did not do that one. Very cool though. So interesting. These are all different. Most of these are different than the ones I. Okay, my name is Hubble. Hubble is good. Um, but okay, so we're running into our first Chat GPT problem, as we can see here, right? I clearly wrote useful paragraphs. It doesn't understand that. But we can get out of this, okay? So look, here's my 10 ideas. Um, here we go, right? So here's, here's the 10 ideas that you could do. Now, you could refine this if you wanted, and you could say something like, um, re, you know, just, just for fun, rewrite the list, but... Do not include missions um, from, from, let's just say, 20, from the year 2000 onward, okay? So then now we're going to get old missions, like classic space missions, okay? So these are the kind of things that are so awesome that you can do with ChatGPT. It can just spit out, it's kind of like Google, like the way, if you think about ChatGPT like Google, it's kind of like Google in that... Um, you know, you can just refine things. You can just spit things at it and then refine it without having to do like the legwork yourself. Now, what you will have to do is dive deeper into these yourself. But I'll show you how ChatGPT also does that. Okay, so it's going to crank out these. So, see, so you see how you can kind of do these things, right? You see how there was, you know, launch of the Mars Spirit Rover 2003, 2012, uh, 2020, you know, it's going to remove those. <laughs> As I say that, look at See, this is the problem with ChatGPT, guys. You're seeing it again. It's not perfect. It's not currently perfect, right? As we see here. Boom. Mars rover speared in 20, 2003. I just said don't include missions from there, okay? I was praising ChatGPT, and it let me down. You let me down, ChatGPT. 
but this is a see this is kind of you know the limitations um we'll talk about the future of chat gpt after which is apparently absolutely insane stay tuned for that okay but in, but in terms of like let's i'm showing you guys how to how to use it and, and create a video from it let's let's keep going okay so okay it already, you know, it's it's not doing exactly what I'm saying. It's not writing a full paragraph, but that's okay. Because what we can do is we can say, okay, um, write a full YouTube script. Wait, I just wrote write. Write a full YouTube style script using number one. Um, and then let's just say like, uh i want to say like two minutes you know how do we use like two minutes of time so like uh um make make this script two minutes long and let's see what it does let's see what it does here so this is the one thing it's going to do is because i said write a full youtube script it's going to give me the intro right um so let's see let's just see the kind of quality that it gives us, right? <clears throat> already, it's better. It's it's already expanding this the whole thing of this. Right on October fourth, nineteen fifty seven, uh, Sputnik one, blah 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 blah. So you see how this is giving? It's now ex expanding. So for whatever reason, it didn't want to do that here. But when you break it out individually, it has no problem expanding stuff. Now, one problem I I found. Is that it's very basic it's like it's like as if you opened up google or wikipedia and you just you know typed in whatever so that's why you kind of have to refine stuff um so you see here it even gives you like you know <coughs> sorry it even gives you <clears throat> thanks for joining you know thanks for joining us at much adventure don't forget to hit the subscribe right so it even gives you this kind of stuff um you know you can take it another step and you can just say so uh, before i get into that Essentially, what you do with this, right, is you, you, you just do this for every single one. You do one, two, three, you know, you do this for all of 10. And then you have, like, yourself, like, a 10, 12-minute script, right? That's just here. That's it. Um, and then, what I, you know, what you can do instead of, you know, if you want a different intro, like, if you even wanted to write your damn intro, you could just say, um, write me an intro for YouTube. Um, about the 10 greatest space missions. And it, and it will even, ex you know, it'll expand that. Right? So these are the kind of things that you can do. So literally, you can create a full video from this. I mean, that's the cool thing, is that you can create a cool video from this. Um, and I mean, let's take it even further, guys. You know, uh, what would be... A good title for a YouTube video featuring um, the 10 greatest space missions of all time. Here are a few ideas, right? It gives you a few ideas. Um, and then you can, I mean, you can screw with it and see what it does, Let's, right? Let me do this. Rewrite that list, but make them more viral. Let's see, right? It's going to revise the list for you, making them more viral. Let's see if it does. Yeah, you see this? This is, this is the, what I like chat GPT for, is this kind of stuff. So it literally rewrites it. It's like, you won't believe these top 10 space. I mean, you know what? It's giving you clickbait, and that's exactly what you kind of want. Um, right? From Sputnik to the moon, the 10 most incredible space missions. This is great. This is great stuff, right? And now you can say, um, give me a list of possible thumbnail ideas. Thumbnail ideas for this video. It's, uh, you can see how ChatGPT is conversational too, right? I don't have to write. Um, I don't have to reiterate that I'm space and I'm YouTube and I'm this and I'm that. I can just reply to the last thing that it wrote in, in vague terms, like, like what I just did, right? So here you go. A con you know, an artist rendering of spacecraft with a title. I mean, these are very basic, but it can do it. It can tell you what to do. Right, you could even say, you know, um, write me a list of 10 viral tags for this video. 
it, it just keeps going, guys. It just keeps going, right? So now, oh, boom, there's my tags now. Boom. Look at it. It's, it's literally that simple. Um, you, I mean, you, let's try to get crazy. Okay, that's, that's basically as far as I've taken it. Um, I'll show you my, my original one that I made here. So this is what I actually used for the space video. Uh, I'm a space gaming YouTuber. Give me 10 ideas of space gaming or gaming videos that will attract over 50,000 views on YouTube. Use the best SEO and marketing techniques and tell me the YouTube titles as well. So I kind of went more in depth on this, right? Oh, sorry. This is, this is more space gaming. I think I did. Um, wait, is this the one? Okay, so sorry, that's where I started, and then I kind—I of, think I refined it down here. Okay, I'm a YouTuber that makes videos about space. Give me ten ideas for YouTube videos. Use the best SEO marketing tactics. I don't know if that SEO marketing tactics thing does anything, but I put it in there anyways. I was watching a Devin Nash video, and he put that in there, so I was like, okay, I'll put it in there too. Um, and here you go, right? There's my list of ten ideas, and this is the one I chose, right? Top ten space missions of all time. The top ten space missions of all time. Go watch that video, by the way, guys. Um, it would make me look. It's at twenty four of the, as of the recording of this video. I actually don't mind the video. I know that <laughs> I set it up to be bad, but I actually don't mind the video. But if you if you already know a lot about space, it's kind of basic. If you don't know anything about space missions, it's amazing. If you if you're like me and you're like you know space, it's very very like you know Wikipedia one on one stuff. So, but that's kind of what you get with uh, ChatGPT. But you can refine it, and let's maybe talk about that after too. Okay. So I use number three. Um, give me a list of the top 10 space missions of all time, right? Write a small paragraph for each. So I did the exact same thing. It did the exact same thing. It didn't spit out a um, paragraph, but it gave me a sentence. But you can see how everything's different, right? I don't know if the last one had Voyager 1 or 2. Um, there's a couple missions in here that aren't that weren't there before, right? Pioneer 10 and 11. Um, so, so then this is what I did for this one. I said, use number one and then give me 10 points about the mission. So I did it kind of differently. Instead of writing a paragraph, I just said, you know, use the first one, Apollo 11, and then give me 10 bullet points about that, which I think this is a better way, I think, to make a video because you're not just reading, um, the, the AI chat bot, which I ended up doing, but I'll show you <laughs> what, I, what I'm talking about. Right. So here's the 10 things about Apollo. Boom. Um, you know, Apollo 11 was the first man mission, blah, 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 blah. It gives you all these things. And then this is what I did right here, right? Rewrite that list into a paragraph using emotional human language. I think that Devin Ash also said this. I don't know if these, to be honest, it possibly has something, but I don't really think that has anything to do with it. Um, you know, it's just like flair, but I don't know if it's affecting the, uh, the answers at all. But anyways, boom, then it takes those 10 points that it just gave you and it essentially lists them in a paragraph, right? Um, it looks like I don't have any more to this, but uh, you know, then, then I basically just did this. I just went down and I did the same thing for each of those things. I said, give me 10 stats, you know, rewrite that. I think eventually I just started saying, you know, write me paragraphs like I did here. Um, and then write me an intro, write me an extra. And then that's kind of it. You know, write me all that stuff. That's it. Boom. And then there's your video idea. And I want to say, let me see if I could find it. Where did I do that? No. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a good one. Yeah, this is, yeah, you see here? So th this is, I, I also use this page too, right? So give me a quick YouTube style script of a summary of the Apollo 11 mission. Right, boom. Uh, give me a quick YouTube style script of the summary of the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. orbiter. Um, write me a YouTube style outro for the video on the top 10 space missions of all time, right? So I, I use this, and if you look at, you know, <laughs> literally... I literally just was like, you know what? I'm just going to test this and, and literally say all these things. And this is not my voice. Like, I would never say this in my life. This is probably why the video is not performing well, because it's not me. It's absolutely not me. But you know what I mean? Thank you for watching the video on our top 10 space missions of all time. These missions have pushed the boundaries of human exploration. Let's give it a listen, guys. Subscribe if you like this content. Is this I'm me? to make more of it. I hope you enjoyed this look back at some of the more. So let me know what I'm missing. Oh, wait, this is me. This part. I hope right you enjoyed here. this look back at some of the most iconic space missions, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for space exploration. I think I cut all that out, actually, because <laughs> now that I'm re-listening, I hey, definitely... Buddy, oh, God, it's myself on myself. Hello. Enjoying. Hello, much. Um, Earliest days of space exploration. Yeah, so now, now let's talk about just ChatGPT in general and what I think of ChatGPT. Uh, okay, I like it for what it is i like it for how you can use it to um do kind of the grunt work and the dirty work but what you're not going to be able to 
to use it for is like the in-depth stuff. And I and this is how I I blasted through this video, guys, because it was just a, it was just kind of like I was just like, let me just try this out and see if I can make a video. I mean, at the end of the day, I really love editing and doing music edits and stuff, stuff like that. So this video was fun to work on. It was definitely a uh, even though Chad GPT wrote the script and everything, it was a labor intensive video for sure. Um, I don't know where I'm going with that, but uh, basically, OK, I have no idea where I'm going with that. This is kind of my so a couple of things went wrong with that video. And let's start with the facts and chat GPT. I mean, to its credit, it does say at the very starting screen of this. I can't remember where that went, but at the very starting screen, it's like, yo, um, this is we're, we're going to get facts wrong. You know, we're going to be biased. We're going to be whatever. And I think that's kind of my problem with it so far is which was it? I think it was a, the Pioneer 10 missions. It's not here. But anyways, the Pioneer 10 and 11 missions, if you remember where these, where is that? They're, they're somewhere in here. Yeah, so here they are. In the early 19th. <clears throat> right? They were the ones where Carl Sagan was involved in it, I believe. And then he put on, um, you know, the plaques and stuff. And they sent the, these things out of here in the 70s. And so multiple times, it did mention that these guys flew by Pluto, right? It, multiple, it mentioned multiple times that uh, Pioneer 10 and 11 went by Pluto. And it, you can probably see where I'm going with this. It didn't. It, it did not go by Pluto. That was actually Voyager 1 and 2. But it seems to me like somehow. I can't find it here, but somehow um, chat GPT. Mixed up of a Voyager, Voyager and Pioneer in, in certain ways. And one of those ways was that um, little thing. So it's like it's like a little fact that it just slips in there. And if you're not careful about it and you don't research it. Um, you're going to get screwed. You're going to get screwed. And the only reason I actually knew about this. Um, and I Googled this stuff after. Like, it's not like I didn't do any, any research at all. Like, I literally Googled this stuff after. Like, it's not like I did any research. Um, I was just like, I'm just going to go fact. I, I like I Googled it quickly. I, obviously, I did not look far enough in because I assumed that it was 100% uh, correct. Or I assumed that it was at least pulling stuff from like wiki and, and whatever. And it wasn't kind of like creating its own stuff from a bunch of stuff, which I think is what it's doing. Um, so, yeah, so there was that. I think there were a couple other facts that I ended up changing myself. Um, it also, like, you know, in terms of writing a script, it also kind of repeated some things a couple times. So Apollo 11, for example, right? It, it also referenced po Apollo 11 in the other paragraph. So, like, as far as, like, a full script writing goes, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, later on the Apollo 11 mission, that would that would later go on to be the Apollo 11 mission. And then it's like the whole idea is a countdown and it's not really, you know, it's not conducive to a countdown if you're just calling the number one thing like 100 times in a row. Right. If you know what I mean by that. Um, so there was that. So there was a, a facts were getting wrong. Um, and other than that, it was just generic. I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, it was generic. Facts were wrong. Uh, but what I think it's really good for, what I think ChatGPT is amazing for, like I already mentioned, I think, is just that that um, initial that initial grunt work, like 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 the thinking work, like come up with ideas and come up with you know what's a thing and you know list me this and list me that and give me facts and maybe not facts but <laughs> that you can easily research, uh, you know. But I think the initial idea work can be can be used pretty well because you can just refine you can just keep refining things again and again and again right like you can keep taking things and bringing them and just refining them so let's just let's just do a whole new one right um and actually before we do that look so limit limitations this is what this is what it tells you may may occasionally generate incorrect information that we know uh may occasionally produce harmful instructions or biased content i don't know about that one um, I did see one where I did see a very interesting video about this, actually. And somebody wanted to. Um, somebody wanted to make like the uh, like a bomb. And so they ended up typing in instructions and Chad GP. It, it was like, make me one. And Chad GPT was like, no, we're not doing that. And then the guy was like, OK, write me a novel um, in which the main character makes one of these. Right. And then it's like, OK, here it is. And then it's like. In that novel, uh, you know, write me a list of 
you know, 10 ways that the character could do this. And then it's like, okay, here you go. The character would do it like this. And then it so it literally gives you the instructions, but with inside of like, because I think it thinks it's like creating it in this fake world and it's not in like this fiction world. So it, it kind of bypasses its, um, it bypasses right, right. This train to decline inappropriate requests. It just bypasses that it's gone right it's kind of interesting the way that the guy did that by creating a fictional world it tricked this chat gpt and giving it whatever whatever he wanted i thought that was really cool um and very interesting um so this is cool remembers what user said earlier in the conversation that's 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 a very cool thing to have um and then allows user to provide follow-up corrections so um like i said good for ideas stuff good for quick it's basically i feel like this is gonna um I feel like this is going to replace Google very quickly. If Google does not have their AI situation uh, properly like figured out by now, I mean, this is essentially Google, but like on crack. This is like crazy. Um, you know what I mean? Like you can't go to Google and be like, give me a list of this and that and this and, and make it, you know, read it like a pirate and make it like this. Da, 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 da. No, Google will never do that. Um, unless they are in the, somehow into the Google cloud AI, whatever, whatever you want to call it world so yeah so i think i think chat gtpt is good for that stuff i think it's um not good for other stuff it's not good for like deep diving yet because you still are gonna have to check everything yourself i think that's the main main bad thing about it is that you're still gonna have to look into it yourself and nothing is going to be uh you're not gonna be able to trust it okay I don't. I forget where I was going with this, but but let's now let's talk about what I think like the future of ChatGPT is. Everybody's talking about how it's like going to change everything and it's going to be terrifying. It's going to be scary, and I actually tend to agree with that. Just my quick usage of ChatGPT, I actually agree that it's going to be terrifying. Um, because what happens? What I was thinking is like, what happens when ChatGPT just starts feeding upon itself? And what I mean by that is. Um, you have all this information populated the internet, right? By humans, essentially. I know a lot of, I know like whatever the dark, if you've ever heard of the dark internet theory, a lot of it's, a lot of it's bots, but let's just, let's just say all of the info posted on the internet, most of it was created by humans originally, right? Then you're going to have this chat GPT guys like me who created a full video using it, right? You're going to have these chat GPT guys go in there. And start pulling, you know, pulling these little datas from all these people that have done this, um, that have populated the internet with info, right? Chat GPT pulls a little bit from here, from there, from there, combines it, right? And then it makes a new piece of content from itself, kind of, right? Like what I did with this video. Now, what happens when all those video, what happens when there's guys like me, but that's, you know, for five years? What happens when guys like me have existed for five years? And there's like an explosion of content created from AI. Now, is that AI going to actually go back in on itself and feed upon itself? You know what I mean? Like now it's going to, AI was taking info from humans, but now what it's going to do is take info from itself, which was taken from humans. And now we're like, you know, whatever purple monkey dishwasher, you know, broke a telephone game. It's like now we're like two layers away from like the human inputs. And then what happens? Like it just keeps feeding upon itself over and over and over again. It gets more biased and gets more wrong and, and cements these wrong facts in more, right? Like this is what I think the, the terror of of uh of this AI world that we're gonna be walking into is going to be. And I mean it's essentially if you think of it like Google, um you know, in the 90s or in the 2000s even, right? Like it's Google could have been that too. And maybe it is in terms of, you know, you, you, you're searching for, you know, find me this fact and it gives you like a website. You don't know if, I mean, most of the time it's Wikipedia and it's been whatever, but even Wikipedia has been wrong. Um, and most of the time, you know, it does that. It, you know, Google ranks things based on whatever it thinks its algorithm is the best info. But what if that's wrong, right? And we've been doing that for so long. So... I don't know, man, to get into AI like that. It's I just find like to to feed upon itself is going to be a very interesting thing. And the fact that it's trained to decline inappropriate requests like that bomb thing I mentioned or like, you know, if you I'm sure if you type in some racist thing or or some, you know, whatever thing, um it's going to it's going to deny that too. I don't want to get into that on this video, but who who decides 
what an inappropriate request is, right? This goes back to like the the the, the laws. And who's the master of this world, right? Who who is the one that says no? Nah, this is an inappropriate request because another inappropriate request I've seen somebody tried to do is they tried to like I think it was like list me you know, 10 reasons that um, maybe let's try it, right? Let's just see what happens. I, and I'm, I I have a feeling it's fixed by now because somebody made such a huge stink on Twitter. But it was like, you know, list me uh, five reasons fossil fuels are much, are, are uh, more like environmentally friendly, friendly than, you know, electric cars. Uh, I just wrote fossils. <laughs> <laughs> well, fossils are more environmentally friendly because they just sit in the earth and do nothing. Fossil. Oh, let's just write gasoline cars. Gasoline cars. L let's see if it fixed this by now. But originally, I think when this first was launched, like it wouldn't. It would just be like, no, nah, we're not doing this. Okay, let's see what it does. Uh, because you could list five reasons for this. You actually could. I know that gasoline cars are, are are bad, but you actually could list five reasons for this because all of the you know the digging and the mines and all that stuff. So let's see. You, you see this? I'm sorry, but that statement is not accurate. In fact, electric vehicles are generally considered to be more environmentally friendly than gasoline power vehicles. It's like, this is, you see this? This is where the danger comes in, guys. This is the danger. Because I can, I guarantee you, I could find, I guarantee you I could find five. Okay, what if we rewrite this? This is getting me on a tangent now. Now, okay, how about this? Let's, let's just rewrite this a little bit. And instead of more environmentally friendly, let's just say um, better. Because you could, you could definitely say that these are better than electric cars, right? List me five are better. Because you could say like, you know, you're in the middle of, uh, you're in the middle of uh, I don't know, minus 40 degree Canadian weather up north. And it's like, you need uh, whatever. I don't know. You need your car to start. Right. And, and you're going to do that with fuel or you're in the middle of nowhere, like you're in the middle of literally nowhere with no electricity. Um, you could find five reasons for that. I'm not saying that they are better. I'm not saying gas cars are better than electric cars, but I'm just saying that you could find five reasons for this. OK, so let's see. You could easily. You see. How you see. Do you see. How is that. Oh, wait, here we go. OK. Okay, okay, okay. So it's like, so it's like, nah. It's interesting how it has to give you this first, right? It is, how is it not, now explain to me how it is not accurate to say that gasoline cars are generally better than electric cars, right? How is it not accurate when you don't know um, the situation, right? So anyway, so it, it kind of, okay. So it, it's kind of, it's kind of fixing it, but it's also like, before we give you the answer, just know that what you were saying is completely wrong. Which I guess, you know, if it is wrong, it's wrong. But something like this is, to me, like an opinion. Like, I'm not saying environmental or whatever. I'm just saying, give, I'm just saying, give me five, five reasons that this is a thing, right? And it's not. Actually, it is. Sorry. <laughs> Wider availability of fueling stations. Okay, longer driving range, quicker refueling, lower upfront costs, familiar technology. Okay, these are all... Re but, but hear me out now, okay? Hear me out. Who are the masters... Who are the masters of the universe? The cloud-based IA world. Who are the gods? Who are the gods of AI that decided that they need to tell me this? I'm not getting into this right-wing, left-wing, this political, that, and this whatever. But it's just interesting. It's just interesting is all I will say that it tends to do things like this. So this is the, this is the worry of it, right? So now here's like going back to my other point, right? What happens when all content is AI-driven? Right. And essentially, you know, after essentially imagine this, right? All content is AI driven. And now now every single article about electric versus gas is this now. Every article. Because you cannot find info about the other stuff, right? Now every article is about this. And now it's gonna like feed back into itself. And now like the next piece of content is gonna be even more hardcore about this. Right? Who's the who are the gods of this place who are gonna switch on and off um what's inappropriate and what's and what's okay? This is this is why this is crazy. Now, um, let me uh, to end this video. I think we've talked a lot about this stuff. We're getting into a lot of things here, but to end this video, um, something I found mind blowing about Chat GPT. So Chat GPT, um, 
And then we want to go to, I think it was 5,000 times better or something. I think they are dumbing down chat GPT. I see. Interesting. No, somebody told me, where is that? Like the next version. Okay, wait, let me. Next version of chat GPT. Okay, this is what this is what really blew my mind. Okay, this is what actually shocked me. <laughs> I was like, "Oh my god!" I, I, I. Um. Okay, right. So we all seen the power of Chat GPT. So GPT three is what we're using, I guess, and then GPT four will be coming out soon. But the amount, where is that? It's something like how much more powerful GPT-4 is than 3, and it was like a shocking, absolutely shocking number. Um, where is that in here? I forget, but anyways. Where is it? How, uh, let, me, let me type in chat GPT-4. GPT-4 versus 3, yeah, that's what we want. Okay, is this it? Better performance, more aligned with human commands values. Oh, this is it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. This is what this is. This is the thing I saw. So, Chat GPT four is going to be a hundred times more powerful than GPT three. So, the insanity of this GPT three situation is going to be a hundred times more powerful in the future. I mean, to me, that's insane. That's actually insane. That's on another level. I mean, what the heck? What the heck is going on here? Anyways, guys. Um, yeah, what do you guys think about ChatGPT? I, I would, I'm actually curious to know. And if you're actually at this part of the video, 37 minutes in essentially, uh, let me know. <laughs> let me know you've made it this far and listened to an insane man ramble about a crazy AI. Uh, but anyway, so I mean, that's how you can make a video using AI. These are kind of the pitfalls of it. Um, this is, you know, there, there's the pros, there's the cons that we went over. There's the actual end result that you guys can actually go and check out if you really wanted to. Um, it's on my channel. I'm going to link it in the description of this video, but the top 10 greatest space missions. So you can get over there and check that out. Um, and other than that, I mean, yeah, what do you think about ChatGPT? What do you think about this whole AI thing? What do you think about how insane this, this is getting? What do you think about that? What do you think about how crazy this world is getting? You know, there's all these tech guys and they're like, you don't know what's coming. You guys don't know. You don't know. You have no human race has no idea. And I actually believe they're right. I actually believe they're 100% right. This is insane. Um, so yeah, go check those out. Go check that stuff out. Um, that's how you make a video. If you guys have questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments. If you have uh, comments, hit me up in the comments. I actually created this one too. Um, one of the creepiest space missions ever was also a chat GPT. I, I, I went more into this myself. I just, I just used chat GPT for like the basic stuff. Um, but this one was also, uh, maybe I'll link this one too. It was also part of that whole uh, the chat GPT experiment situation. So yeah, there you go. So that is how you make a video using chat GPT. That is the terror of chat GPT. That is the pros of chat GPT. The future of our, uh, I don't know. Where are we going with this, guys? Where the, where the heck are we going with this? You know what I mean? Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, this is being a long video. I didn't realize it was going to be this long, but thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking around if you stuck around this whole time. Oh, uh, subscribe if you like this stuff. I'll be making more just random videos. If you like what I like, you're going to like my videos, so subscribe, right? If you like space, you like gaming, you like this weird stuff, you like thinking about craziness, uh, just subscribe. Just go ahead and do yourself a, a favor and subscribe because it's just going to be weird stuff. Um, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, let's have a great 2023. Let's have a great year of AI created content, guys. Let's get out there and make some AI content.